question 13 is getting us to consider some logarithms. We've got a model here for the value of a rare painting and it's given to us as v is equal to pq to the power of t and we've got some information further on down about the line being given to us as log v is 0.5t plus 4.8. The question itself actually then asks us to establish the values of p and q. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that initial equation which is v is equal to p q to the power of t and I'm going to take logarithms of both sides. Now we understand that when we don't write a base that we do mean base 10 and it just saves us having to write down 10 every time. Now I apply my log laws to the right hand side and know that when I multiply values through logarithms I can change that into an addition and now I can apply my laws of logarithms one more time to get this as the power law so the q to the power of t becomes t lots of log q. Now if I compare this to the original which was to say that log of v is equal to 0.5t so let's write that at the end t times 0.05 and I can say that this bit here is going to be then 4.8 uh, I can then compare the coefficients in both equations. So I established that log of p is equal to 4.8 and that log of q must be equal to 0 0.05. Now I can recover those initial values then obviously by taking p as 10 to the power of 4.8 and I take q as 10 to the power of 0 0.05. Now it wants these given as four significant figures so I throw those values into my calculator and the four significant figures I've got 63,100 for the first and I've got 1.122 for the second so there are my values for P and Q. With reference to the model we then want to interpret these values well the value P would exist when T is 0, the initial time so when t is 0 it's going to nullify the q and I just get left with p so we would typically say that p uh, so 61,000 uh, sorry 63,100 is the initial value now we have to go a bit further than that because we want with reference to the model so what are we talking about here it's the value of the rare painting Now the second part, the Q, after a single year, Q is going to be 1.122, so we'd multiply the value by 1.122, after two years we'd multiply it by that value again, after three years again, and so on. So Q, this 1.122, is the factor by which the value of the rare painting increases each year. For the final part of this question we're wanting to predict the cost of the painting on January the 1st 2010 giving our answer to the nearest hundred thousand pounds. So the model started in the 1st of January 1980 so to 2010 that's going to give us 30 years so this is simply saying that t is going to be equal to 30 so what I want to do is onto my calculator say the value of the painting is going to be 63,100 times by 1.122 to the power of 30 and if I throw that in I end up with 1 million nine hundred and nine where are we? 994,412 uh, point something, so 13 pounds. It wants it correct to the nearest 100,000 pounds, so correct to this point. So rounding there is going to give me 2 million exactly. So my final answer is that the value of the painting is predicted to be 2 million pounds.